Welcome to Mikitanosis. Today we will take a look at Izvor, a martial art that was born from the elements of Sistema and Slavic traditions. Although it does have similarities to the other styles of Sistema which I have already covered, it also has some peculiarities which are not seen anywhere else, particularly its approach to hand-to-hand -hand combat and body gymnastics. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. The name of this martial art, Izvor, comes from the Slavic word that means source of water or constant flow. This particular name was chosen to describe its core philosophy of being flexible, soft and flow constantly like water. And rightfully so, the theory behind the style is to make your body akin to water and, as we all know, the element of water can take three forms – its natural liquid state, solid ice and vapor. To put this theory into practice, the fist strikes and kicks are classified as ice, the soft body evasion is classified as vapor, and constantly flowing blocks and open palm strikes is the liquid form. The mastery consists of being able to constantly go from one water form to another, being unpredictable and adaptive, in essence becoming something akin to the force of nature itself. Admittedly, all of the currently existing Sistema styles are based on the concepts of softness and internal power. But what makes Izvor different is that unlike many other styles, it actually does place a big emphasis and, well, on testing its beliefs in high-speed sparring and demonstrations. But of course, only after reaching a relatively high level. To understand how and why Izvor was created, we have to talk more about Mikhail Grudyev, an amazingly positive man that does not only teach you how to fight, but also how to tackle life challenges without fear and how to have positive attitude to everything that life throws at us on a daily basis. Mikhail Grudyev started his martial arts training with Sambo and later on he transitioned to combat Sambo once he got conscripted for uh, Spetsnaz. After his military days, he pursued further martial arts training and got proficient in many diverse combat systems such as karate, boxing, chan chuan, taiji chuan and wushu sanda. After attaining and analyzing all that additional knowledge, he worked in the international center dedicated to the training of bodyguards and special units called Alpha Prestige. So this guy clearly is a dedicated and a passionate martial artist and, uh, well, he's not shy to pursue first-hand experience even in combat systems that are unfortunately widely discriminated these days, such as Taji Chuan. Well, maybe Taji Chuan did initially stimulate Mikhail's interest in the concepts of the internal martial arts and internal power, but officially it was not until 1992 when he first was exposed to Sistema, which encouraged him to, uh, to perform deeper study and eventually create his war. And according to Mikhail Grudyev, currently Izvor is one of the best combat systems in the world. Well, let's take a closer look and see if that's indeed true. First of all, the most important philosophy in this martial art is to lose the sense of fear, since according to Mikhail Grudyev, fear slows us down, makes our bodies uncontrollable and vulnerable. And in order to achieve the desired movement economy, the ability to freely flow from one attack to another, you first have to let everything go and enjoy the moment, not being lost in the thoughts of whether you will get hurt or not. Regarding the daily benefits of achieving that state, it is clear that by liberating our mind and body from the influence of fear and negative thinking, it makes us more willing to exit from our narrow-minded comfort zone stimulating our creativity and boosting our interpersonal relations with the others. The first goal of Mikhail Grudyev is to teach us how to fight, so we can maximize our chances of surviving any unfortunate violent scenario that we might encounter. And his second goal is for us to understand that we survive for the purpose of fully enjoying our lives and to help the others. Apart from the liberation from fear and the development of the constant flow, other core areas to develop are the following. Understanding the gravity pull, improvisation, rationality in a moment, accuracy and isolation of unnecessary thoughts. Every training session starts with wrestling, mostly using the techniques from Sambo. This serves as a warm-up. It always begins with uh, playful and rational movements first and gradually becomes more serious and aggressive as the practitioners get fully warmed up. 
And at the, at the end of every training session, there is always a full contact sparring. According to Grudyov, he wants uh, to keep uh, his war as real as possible. And the best way to teach people how to, co uh, well, how real combat is, is to put them under real pressure, so they will have no fantasies about what the scenario will be like once they encounter real trouble. As we can see, many scenarios are practiced at high speed with realistic attack patterns and pragmatic approach. As a result, Grudyev has become popular even among people who are critical towards many other styles of Sistema. However, his style is one of the least uh, developed in regards to marketing. Until recently, he was only teaching in Moscow, with the other school being present in Riga, Latvia. And last month, from the 1st of June 2021, he opened a school in Sochi, which he entrusted to his oldest and most trusted student. When asked about why he's not adopting a more aggressive approach towards marketing and expansion, he says that he's not interested in creating a superficial martial art that he cannot control himself. He knows what he wants to teach and does not want to dilute his war with poorly trained coaches that would be there purely for the sake of making money. That's why he currently has only three schools, the main one he's controlling himself and two others are being monitored by two of his oldest students. Obviously, there's a lot more that can be said about this martial art. Maybe we would return to this war in the future to talk more about its unique Baiwai Gymnastica. However, my next video will be about Yi Li Chuan, a modern Chinese martial art which is based on internal systems, which is actually very similar to Sistema, since it has no preset patterns, no Tao Lu, and is all about internal power and improvisation. Additionally, soon I plan to release new training videos for Sistema and martial arts, particularly training in the home environment. I will try to cover all levels from the beginner stage to the more advanced, so stay tuned. Until then, remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and to never neglect knowledge. Peace out!